six, nine, Today, we're going to test and review this Bamboo A1 mini printer with the AMS system light combo, which we bought with our own money. And we're going to give you an unbiased review about it. Get ready for an unbiased review of the A1 mini. This printer is only $299 US for a starting price over the, just the printer itself. And with the AMS light system, it comes to $499 US. That is seeing the quality output of this printer, a really bargain price indeed but does the printer actually going to hold up to the next generation printers that's coming onto the market this video is sponsored by pcbway.com the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards tell us what you need then let us design and manufacture your pcbs to the highest level low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just five dollars Get an instant quote and join our online community at pcbway.com. Looking at this printer's design, it's fairly nice. It looks simple yet effective and it does what it's supposed to do. And there is not much that the end user has to do some calibration. It's all automatic. There is nothing that you have to do except for putting the print bed on there. And that's about it. Load the filament and hit print and it will give you a nice Benchy. I got this printer to do a Benchy of 12 minutes. And that is really impressive for this caliber of printer. So some people are talking about that this printer is a high end printer. Um, yes. No, it is a nice printer but a high-end printer in my opinion is still a bamboo x1 carbon this one is a nice printer for the beginners as you guys can hear now it's just doing the calibration also noise cancellation happens once you initially set up the printer i think it only does it once or you have to go through the menu and you have to do it yourself manually so this is just a calibration before a print i'm start trying to print a benchy a speed benchy that is and i'm going to bump up the speeds to ludicrous mode we're going to test the machine to the limits so as you guys can see the bed leveling system also is really nice i do have to tell you guys something else about this system which is if you get used to printing in in an enclosed printer starting to print with an open printer like this without any enclosure you do start smelling the pla again and any other material probably but i print 95 percent of the time with pla i can smell the pla which i don't really like i didn't have that issue with the bamboo x1 carbon and with an open printer of course you do get these fumes out in wherever you are printing well that's kind of a minor issue for most of us because most people do print in their garage or whatever having just said that this printer takes a couple of minutes to start printing so now that the printer has started we're going to Now it's at ludicrous mode. So now that the printer is doing the ludicrous mode, it's really fast. But it will probably fail. You can literally see the model growing by naked eye. It's like a time lapse, but in real time. And keep in mind, guys, I'm using Hyper PLA to achieve this. With regular PLA, I'm afraid you will have a really fast a clock with these speeds, especially um, if you if you choose ludicrous mode on the speed benchy. And here we have we have a, a blockage. As you guys could see, it did crash once. And it might crash a couple of times because I'm, I'm really pushing the printer. So we'll, we'll hope that it's not going to crash again. But it's, I'm afraid it will crash. And that is normal seeing the speeds that we are outputting of this little feisty printer.
this is another angle to, to show you guys how fast it's sprinting Also this bit here, which shows you the status of your extruder, that is turning left or right, extruding or retracting, it also rattles a bit. There's a rattle in there. I wish there wasn't, because when it's calibrating or printing really fast, you can hear it like rattling sometimes, and it's a downfall of this uh, design here. Maybe in the future models it won't happen. So change the nozzle on the Bamboo A1 Mini. You take this part here, pull it back like this, and then you take the silicone cover off, it was really good stuck on there, but I got it off here. And then you have a tap here, to the right, and another tap. The same tap is here, you pull this to the left, like this. And then you take this bit of the tool head, and you wiggle it a little bit to the front, and it comes out, like this. So yes, they weren't joking about it being toolless, changeable hot end, it is. So we have a 0.6 nozzle here so we take it from its back 0.6 nozzle we take it this side so the front has to be like this take it like this and fiddle a little around and it's magnetic so it st stays put on itself you put the left side first to the right and then you take this latch and you push it down just like this and then you put the silicone cover back on there Now we have the 0.6 nozzle installed on the Bamboo A1 Mini. So then you put this cover on there, click it on both sides. So there is not much to say about this printer other than that this printer is a really nice printer for its budget 299 it's only a hundred more expensive for other brands that we know that has been selling and conquering the whole 3d printing world for the beginners at least and this printer is a new king in my opinion and it will sell a lot if it doesn't then i don't know what people are buying if they are really getting into the 3d printing market because I wish this was my first 3D printer and I would have really a much better experience from the beginning on. So guys, I'm going to show you all the plates that I have for this Bamboo A1 Mini. We have some plates, Garolites from VPS Data they sent us. And these are test samples, but also like the finished product for the Kickstarter. They're running at the moment. And this is the G10 for the A1 Mini. I'm going to show on the G10 what kind of output we got from it, which is this. A glossy finish really rigid no holes or whatsoever you can't get through it really nice although we have some extrusion problems that is the problem of the a1 mini uh, the calibration i think it's not on par at all times so that's it 
that's one and now we have the uh, g11 v1 which is this one it's 0.5 millimeter stick not really bendable but you can bend it as much as you can bend a pei nice plate and the output on that one is this it's a matte finish smooth matte finish when you run your finger on there it's really smooth and also here you have these extrusion problems on the a1 mini but on the other side where it it's been touching the bed surface it's really smooth that's also two and this is the g11 test sample v2 and the v2 is more flexible as you guys can see it's like a foldable book cover or something uh, its output was really nice also smooth non-glossy smooth finish so this one it came out really nice there was no over extrusion problem on this whatsoever as you guys can see and also really rigid you can't get through it although on this plate which is a bamboo textured PEI plate on this one I had the most issues the print came out like this it's falling apart which is not really what we're looking for and from here on it's fine but from this side on it's really not the first layer that I am used from bamboo printers so yeah the, the PEI plate that with the bamboo A1 mini is not putting out good quality in this test that is it might be a printer problem it might be a calibration problem but I used always the same filament same settings everything 0.4 nozzle and this is the output I got from that print and I showed you the rest of the outputs that I got so in my opinion texture that is winning is a G11 V2 that came out really nice as you guys can see I always want this output from all my printers but yeah you can't always have the best of it but yeah uh, and if you guys want to order one of these G11 or G10 bed plates at the moment there's a Kickstarter going on from VPS data look in the description below you will find the page for it and you can back one of these plates for a nice price at the moment they are on a Kickstarter price soon they will be also on the website of VPS data you can get it for a more expensive price which is in my opinion worth it if, if you have first layer problems adhesive problems I'm not saying that the bamboo textured PAI and the smooth PAI isn't good it's just I like these better Galolite G11 version 2 from VPS data I'm going to unbox this in order to show you guys what the Kickstarter backers will receive inside of the box so really neat packaging here it's very special in my opinion a very unique box that it's coming in really nice in two colors and everything so the unboxing goes like this there we go and the Gatorlite G11 version 2 comes out of the box so anyways guys thank you for watching this review and uh, testing of this bamboo a1 mini subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye